Good day, Tinker Cat friends. The other day I had you build a snowman using the manual way. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one using code blocks. When you enter code blocks, you could test all these out, but I'm gonna let you do that on your own time. Instead, I want you to hit new design. As with any project, let's name our project. I'm gonna put snowman with my initials. You can put whatever you want. I chose the snowman because you repeat adding spheres three times. We're going to repeat three times as we make our new object called snowman. When you click OK it becomes labeled that way. And we are going to make our snowman adjustable. So switch to the math and we are going to create two different variables. The first one is going to be called size. And the second variable is going to be called height. So once again we rename it the same way we did the first time. And that will be the height of each of the snowballs as they drop in. We are going to use a move command which you can find over here to get our snowballs to line up the way that we want. We're going to move using some very cool math. So grab the operations code block and we want to drop the height in the first location and then we need to change to subtraction. To make this even more fancy we're going to drop another operations code block and this time we're going to do the size and we're going to multiply and we're going to do the value of 2 for starters. Let's finally go to our shapes and let's bring out our sphere, drop it underneath. Because it's a snowman, we've got to make it white. And then we want to change. Instead of the radius, we want to grab our variable. So we can click the data choice and bring out that size and put it in that location. And I want my sphere to be really round, so I'm going to change the steps to 36. Now when you use repeat and you want things to change, you've got to put the modifier underneath. And our modifier is going to be this little set. But we're going to set the size to a new size. But once again, we're going to do some math to create that size. And we're going to put the variable size in the first spot. And then we're just going to add an amount in the second spot. We can do a lot of trial and error, but I'm going to tell you that 3 is a good number to start with. We finish our code by going to modify and doing select all an object and then we do one last move so that we make sure it's all up in the air and we've got to change the Z to an amount that we adjust all the time as we make our different snowmen. Double check your numbers quick, 333 height minus size times 2, size is 36 set size to size plus 3 and move to 10. At this point your job after typing all that or putting all that in is to hit play and watch your amazing snowman show up. I hope you enjoyed this cool little project. If it didn't work the first time make sure you try try again. If you did enjoy it please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed please hit subscribe and if you want to leave a question or a comment please do it down below. And last but not least if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me HL Mod Tech hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.